Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. I am driving. One moment, please. Be careful, ah. be careful. I will be listening, please. Yeah, no problem. Sure. Thank you for informing. Good evening, good evening. You hear me? Reaction, thumbs up. Hi, good evening on the chat. Say something. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Welcome. Hi, hi, Fernando. Welcome. Hi, good evening. Hey, good evening. Welcome to classes. Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening to everybody. Good evening to the rest of participants. Welcome, everybody. I hope you are okay. I hope you're fine. I hope you had a wonderful day. Maybe not that easy, a little bit busy, probably. Yes, we're all very, very, very busy at certain points. All right. Well, without any further ado, we're going to get started. I hope you are having, oh my God. It seems that my neighbor so is quiet. Not very quiet today. <laughs> all right. So as I was mentioning, Well, sorry about that. It seems that my neighbor's dog well, kind of missing today. All right, let's get started. Yeah, we're having our session number two. This is our session number two of the module five of intermediate level. Let me just share the screen for us to get to see the generalities of this session. Wow, <laughs> I apologize once again. I didn't mean to, <laughs> but anyways, as I was saying, okay, this is our session number two. Today is Tuesday, September the 26th of 2023. So we're gonna get started. And of course we keep, you know, reminding about the right, well, about choosing the right place for attending to classes, even though if it is um online, yeah, we must try the hardest possible to get to a, let's say, appropriate place to get the classes. If you are driving, if you have any other inconvenience, it's okay to inform, to report about your conditions, right? So the attendance, very important. Attendance, of course, the whole time in class, Attendance will be taken twice, okay? So at the time you listen to your name, being called on the attendance, you please say good evening or present, all right? So session one on one, okay? Those are assigned uh, like every single day with one person, 10 minutes, okay? And please try it as much as possible, as I told you, to keep participating in every single activity that we do in class, right? Important to take into consideration on our video conference, okay, the silence button or mute, cameras, chat, breakout rooms, and participation. 
All right. Yesterday we started with the very first class, very first session, expressing advantages and disadvantages in the Rex distribution channels. Okay, SI, the most appropriate distribution channels. Okay, so that's something we're gonna be studying today. I hope we're all fine. We're all okay. We're all in conditions of participating because that's really taking into consideration. Yesterday, I remember we started talking um, about having an entrepreneurship, right? So that was a concept that came up and that's something that I want to point out today. So yes, I'm gonna be asking you to do this sort of activities, but before anything else happens, yes, we must get the attendance. So let me get the right. Okay, here we go. And the first person we call on is Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Is she here? Not yet. On her way home. Okay. Well, not yet. All right. Good. Let's see. Next person on the list, we have a teacher Ernesto. He says he's driving. <laughs> okay. Listen. Yes, thank you. Next person, Elizabeth Stephanie. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. All right, next person, Emerson Alexander Lopez. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Next person, Fernando Jose. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Next person on the list. Oh my God, just move a little bit here. Mm, Francisco Ernesto. Present. Hello, good evening. All right, next person, we got Hazel Vanessa. Hazel, Hazel. I see she's connecting her audio just right now. All right, let's give it a second. Let's not panic. I think she has a hard time connecting her mic. So we're, yeah, maybe we, we're just gonna go on and later on she can report herself. Juan Antonio Elias. Nope. Julissa Jamilet. Present evening. Hello, good evening. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Luis Javier Castillo. Luis Javier. Apparently no. Okay, Luis Miguel. Luis Miguel was yesterday in class, yes, but not today. Okay, Magdiel is out. Present. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Uh, Manuel Alexander. Present. Hello, good evening. Marilyn Alejandra. No. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Present. Hello, good evening. Good evening. All right, Roberto is so. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, next person, Ronald, Alexander. Not here. Okay, Victor Noel. Vidal Byron. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Carla just reporting herself. She's still working. And one later. Present. Hello, good evening. All right. Welcome. 
to everyone. Yes. I was just mentioning about yesterday's class that we mentioned some uh, concepts related to entrepreneur. If you could have a business, think about it, okay? What would you like to sell, distribute, or make business out of something, okay? Besides something that you already have, right? Besides the services, the professional services that you already provide probably, okay, what sort of business? Okay, somebody mentioned yesterday about a restaurant, right? So we're going to have, let's say this um, break, this icebreaker to talk about this ideas. All right, just one second, I just need to show this. Okay. Here we have this. Well, there are some questions I'm gonna share with you and you're going to be uh, talking to your partner about famous entrepreneurs in the world. You know, they're famous people who are owners of companies. Yeah, you may also call them entrepreneurs. Yeah, advantages of being an entrepreneur, disadvantages, okay, famous entrepreneurs in your country. If you ever thought about starting your own business, is it possible for anyone to become an entrepreneur? Do entrepreneurs face barriers in your country? And what are some characteristics of a good entrepreneur? Yeah, why do many businesses go bankrupt in the first few years? All right, yesterday, yeah, I got this concept and I told you just when you start your own small business. Well, yeah, you can also have the business already established and you are the owner of this business so you are an entrepreneur yeah you can also use that concept in that area so my mistake yesterday all right so i take responsibility for that but this time it's just about a matter of interacting a matter of exchanging ideas okay with your partners so i'm gonna just let me present i'm just gonna share the screen so you can you know, take a look at the questions, possible questions we have just to establish a conversation and thinking about running or starting your own business. All right. Okay, here we go. So these are some of the questions. Okay, take a look at them. Try to understand what they are about. Okay, what are some famous entrepreneurs in the world? Where are the advantages of being an entrepreneur? And are there disadvantages of being an entrepreneur? Are there many famous entrepreneurs in your country, you know, like the business owners, right? Uh, are there many famous? Yeah, that's the same one. Have you ever thought about, um, have you ever thought of starting your own business? And if is it possible for anyone to become an entrepreneur? And do entrepreneurs face barriers, like obstacles, right, in your country? And what are some characteristics of good entrepreneurs and why do many business go bankrupt in the first few years, okay? So probably we can exchange ideas, opinions of what we think about these questions, right? So this is what we're gonna start off with. And if you have any question, you just let us know. All right, let me see. Yeah, I bet. Take your time. This is a matter of interacting. There are no right or wrong answers. It's just a matter of expressing your opinions, okay, expressing your ideas, exchanging ideas. So before we get off on the content from the manual, so we're gonna start on this establishing communication, exchanging ideas, as I said before, with our partners. Okay, so randomly we're gonna get in a group. And then we start maybe okay. I'll share this uh screenshots if you if you want, you can even share a screen so that you can um have all the questions visible for everyone participating in the room. All right. Here we go.
Okay, yes, I, I have the, the screenshot. Uh, just wait a moment, please. It's going okay. to my screen. Okay, okay, no problem. Thank you. Can you see the screen? Right. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes, I can. Perfect. The first, the first one is who are the famous, who are some famous entrepreneurs in the world? Okay, I think that that is the the, the, the some famous entrepreneurs uh, are, for example, uh, Bill Gates, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Mark Zuckerberg, because at the beginning they started with a small business, right? With a small idea, um, with the time they they uh, started grew in the in the idea. So, and now it is is our one of the the, the biggest uh, uh, companies in the in the world in the world. There is also uh, Steve Jobs. Yes. Yes. Also. Also, but uh, sometimes there is a, a debate because Elon Musk, uh, some people con consider him uh, as entrepreneur and another and another people cons uh, consider him that uh, he he takes um, the position of CEO when the uh, when the company has uh, has already created or has uh has is um the company the company was running uh, al, already so uh i think that elon musk uh, it could be uh, in the list of entrepreneurs or uh, uh like bill gates mark zuckerberg the founders of google uh, they started uh, in the same way the like uh like in a garage I think. Yes, especially for a small business, it's like even for big. I well, I don't remember. It's twenty percent or it's twenty five for a small business and thirty percent for big business. It is a lot. Maybe it's very disadvantage for a small business. At least here in El Salvador, I so don't know. In, in other countries, maybe it's fair to have a big, big business or don't have like employees to pay and only pay taxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like 50%. Well, I, th I think that it's his advantage and disadvantage to being an entrepreneur. Like we already said, for and also, and also, it's like uh, you don't have the you can control you can't control the amount of sales that sales that you have, and you don't have like a a fixed amount of money that you can earn every month. It depends. Yes. And are there many famous entrepreneurs in your country? I don't know. Maybe Cadejo Brew Company? Simander, I think. Sí. Oh, but I, I don't know how Siman started. I mean, Siman did start with a small business, and now it's Siman with the stores in every part of the country. Or I, I, I remember reading that Simana start like a, not like a small business, but like only a, a, a small store. And then it, uh, now it has like a store even in Honduras and Panama yes. and Guatemala. See, definitely it's, well, it is a good entrepreneur, but I think that he, he already born with a lot of money, so. Maybe for yes. him was easier than than the other people that start with nothing. Elon Musk. Uh, Elon Musk. Elon. Okay. 
it's right, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, most. Okay, that's right. Uh, the second one, what are the advantages of being an entrepreneur? I don't know. I think that, that, that the, the, one of the, the best advantages is the possibility of have a higher income uh, in comparative, for example, in a, in a common world, right? In a common job, you have the, the, the opportunity to, to have, if you are, are succeeds in your in you job, in, you, in your business, you have the possibility of, of have a, a great income in your mm -hmm. economic right? Yes, I agree. Uh, another one that is very that is very common to to hear is uh, that if you are an entrepreneur and you control your time and you don't have to, uh, so you uh, you have your own schedule uh, schedule. So uh, you are free to take to take your time if you need to resolve something. But um, with this, it is implied that, uh, uh, for example, if in if you work in a job, in a normal job, you um, you expect to have the the, the weekends off, uh, that you have free time on the weekends. But if you are an entrepreneur, you you know that sometimes uh, you have uh, you have some flexibility, but uh, in in other times you have to sacrifice uh, to sacrifice your time, and you have to work on. Uh, on your project on, on weekends. But um, there is a, a, one of the, uh, one of the most common advantages is uh, the, the, the flexibility of your schedule, of your schedule that, that you are, uh, you control your time. And another one, um, currently, I think that maybe uh, 50 years ago or 40 years ago, uh, being an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur, uh, it was more difficult because uh, the, there is a lack uh, that there was no e initiatives or organizations to support entrepreneurs. But currently, I think that uh, some people that I want to uh, that I want to make a business, that I want to be an entrepreneur, I think there are many platforms or many organizations that you can that you can know more people. So you can you can meet other people with other ideas. Uh, I think that is a is a cool advantage to be an entrepreneur because you move. Um, you move and and meet different people, uh, and uh, and you can participate in in, in very interesting things. Uh, looking for, um, how do you say, uh, funding or uh -huh, uh, participate participating in events to to gain some funding or or something like that. So, yeah, that's I agree. Great. In order to in order to resuming all, well, we have a financial freedom. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a own owner of your time. Mm -hmm. also, and, uh, mm -hmm. you are an own boss. When yeah, you, you are, are your own boss. Entrepreneurs, you are your own boss. And okay. not, uh, not the kind of the time uh, and and you don't know how to how to move forward without listening to those bad bad comments about your your business. So it, I think it's really difficult. Yes, and also I think that the the market is very saturated. Uh, everyone want to sell the same thing yeah. so uh, they have like a lot of a lot of competence mm -hmm. and you, you have to, to to have a good idea to, to uh, like like google, google. I, 
or like oh, Steve wow. Jobs, <laughs> look up <Apple> now. <laughs> One of the biggest now, companies in the world. <laughs> so. mm, what are some characteristics of a good entrepreneur? Mm. One to mm. me is don't have change to sell anything. Mm. Another can be to be certain about not to be um, be creative too, to mm. how to sell the things. Yeah, how to understand your like, uh -huh. And also, like, to be creative, to have, like, a, a great idea of, or sell something different. Uh, how to sell it, too. Because you, you can have a good idea, but, but if you can sell it in the good way, you can fail. And But if you're creative and you know to go on and never stop, but, that's not like a good start to grow your business. Mm, why do many businesses go bankrupt in the first few years? Mm. Maybe they expect a lot of a lot of income, but they have to understand that the first years is where you start and the things. Uh, move low or or something like that so you have to be patient in the first year I think that's difficult they don't have like uh, knowledge of our mm. of how to to sell things because you can expect to sell the same amount every year yeah there are like seasons and even in the season you can sell a different thing in in different times. Some people like want to sell the same thing every uh, this, this, uh, in every month of the year. I, I, I think that yeah. that's like a problem. Or maybe they risk too much, and then they don't got nothing to like a like a back backup like a backup. They don't have like a backup, so. They go back one for for risk it all, and maybe the idea doesn't or the idea was bad. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what happened with with Francisco and Victor. Me neither. Just well, Francisco have so, Francisco have some problem with the audio. Oh, he can write then. Uh, and the entrepreneurs and the uh, and the business uh, don't succeed, doesn't succeed. It would be um, it, you will you will have too, too many liabilities uh, or financial uh, fi financial debts. So I I I sent via via chat the the uncertainty of the business success. And financial risk and the abilities. I think that are the disadvantages. Okay, yeah, I agree with that. Okay. Um, the fourth. Are there many famous entrepreneurs in your country? Hmm. Well, maybe entrepreneurs. It's a little difficult to say, but um, I only know one. I don't know if you already heard about uh, this guy from the TV, uh, Borrego. He has mm -hmm. an entrepreneurship named uh, a dollar. I think a dollar. He he mm -hmm. sells um, tostada, I think. But everything that Involves uh, tostadas, platanitos, yuca. Mm, like snacks. Like snacks, yeah. Snacks. Mm -hmm. 
I I only think about him. El Borrego Sarabia, I think. I don't know what, he, what is his name. Borrego Sarabia, I, I'm, I'm searching. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what his name is. Uh, yeah. I will add... Uh, so, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. So, I, I know, for example, the, the founders of, of this app, Hugo, Hugo that is, uh, the now is Pedidos Ya, the, the founders of Salvadorans. Uh, one of them, uh, his name is Alejandro Argumedo, and they are the um, they were the founders of of uh, Ugo, uh, and are the co-founders of of this app that uh, in I I have seen I I saw it in Super Selectos this this app Nico uh, like is a, a an app uh, a financial app the the I think the they are the the founders of of that. Okay. okay. Alejandro Gumedo. Alejandro Gumedo. I'll address also to this this guy. Well, I don't know. I don't know what his name is. The founder of Aplaudo Studios. Uh, eh, that, uh he, one of them they died in a in a in, in an accident, accident that I was uh, a few months ago. I think that uh, his name is Darwin Romero. Yeah, Darwin Romero. Mm -hmm. Darwin Romero, uh, uh, that is Aplaudo, and Alejandro El Borrego Sarabia. Alejandro Sarabia is the Alejandro name. Alejandro of... Sarabia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sarabia, okay. Uh, uh, the, this, the corporation of Simán, right? Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, example, yeah, that's right. The... the, the creator or the fundator of the Seaman, but uh, in general, the, the, the family, the Seaman family, right? Seaman family, yeah, because there's, uh, there's a, it's a group of founders. So you can you can type a uh, Seaman family. No, uh, erase the yes, Seaman family. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seaman family. So I found that is Jose, J Jose Seaman. is a... Uh, uh -huh. yes. okay, okay. But we can put a uh, Sima family uh, in general, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, well, the next one. Um, have you ever thought of starting your own business? Mm, well, being myself, no. I don't know. What about you? In my case, I have I have think of, uh, I have I have thought about it, but uh, because I think that uh, I'm um, a very a very um, I don't like to take risk. So mm -hmm. I because of that because of the the disadvantages that um, that, that we were discussing before the uncertainty if you will success or you will fail. Or if you will carry a financial debt, uh, or you will you will take liabilities, and and if the and if the business uh, fails, so there are some my my biggest fears. So I I I think that I would like to be an entrepreneur, but I don't have the um, the the level of confidence that is needed for that. Okay. In my case, uh, yes, yes, it, it's, it's kind of difficult, right? Take a, a lot of risks about about it. But uh, in my family, for example, uh, my mom start a, a a small like a um, dining room, right? Mm. You know, uh, uh, typical food, right? Pupusas, mm -hmm. right? Tortas, uh, tacos. Right, is but it's a it's a small dining room, but it's a it's like a, a family dining room, right? And I helped mm -hmm. her I help her uh, sometimes to administrate, right? But uh, probably 
is is the most near that is the most close that I I be of a of a story in my, my own business, right? But in general, I know that is is so it's so difficult, right? So difficult. Obviously, we have the idea of escalate the dining room. All right. I noticed that in some groups, yeah, the conversation was going pretty interesting and it was going pretty well, but time was not enough. I know. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, um, some participants were not able to, well, discuss or express their opinions because other issues I, I might say because they were not able to join the groups. So we're just going to give brief opinions about each of the questions in general for those who were not able to attend the groups. Okay, so volunteers to start off with the first question. Famous entrepreneurs in the world Anybody? Yes. Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, Go ahead. The, the first one, right? Mm -hmm. The first one, I think, yes, there are a, a lot of entrepreneurs in the world. For example, with the team, we say uh, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, Elon Musk. They are uh, people that is at the beginning, they started with a, a small business. Right in the, for example, Big Gay or, or Mark Zuckerberg, I, I don't know, uh, they started in a, in a garage, right? About some years ago. Uh, and they, wow, they are uh, the most uh, rich people in the world, right? So it's yeah, incredible. Yeah, very successful entrepreneurs now in yes. the technology science area, right? Good. Advantages of being an entrepreneur. Anyone? Someone else, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm? Oh, we might choose names. All right, I will choose what it. Hi, I think that uh, an advantage is that you can manage your, your time. You are like your own boss. Mm -hmm. So you decide how much are you working, how much effort are you putting in the, in the business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can lead, you can manage, right? You can make your own decisions. Okay, that's great. All right, disadvantages. Are there any disadvantages? Someone else? Stephanie? I think. Oh, yeah, someone Sorry. was going to answer. Yeah, it's all right, go ahead. And then Stephanie goes with the next one. Okay, I think there are some disadvantages is uh, 
one advantage that is uh, related to being an entrepreneur is that you are the owner of your time. But this uh, uh, at the time, uh, at the same time, it could be a disadvantage because you have to sacrifice uh, the weekends or a special a special moments with your family because you have to work in your entrepreneurship. Uh, another another one is the uncertainty if you will success or you will fail. In, there is a 50-50. And another that is related is the financial risk and liabilities. If you are investing your savings, it's a possibility that you will continue rowing or you will fail and you will lost your your savings the, yeah. in the in the most extreme in the in most extreme cases. Yeah, definitely. You have to risk it all, right? So if you never know if you're just earning, you're just winning, or you're just uh, getting profits, or you're just risking all your, I mean, savings in this case, or even asking for loans, right? Or getting money from the banks. All right. So we were nominating Stephanie, right? Famous entrepreneurs in your country. Hi, teacher. Hey. Sorry, I'm still working. I didn't pay attention. That's all right. I forgot to put uh, Yempe on my name. All right. That's all right. No problem. Someone Thank would like you. to help with Stephanie? Yeah, you were mentioning very interesting cases. I remember in the groups. Some of them I didn't even know. And you were doing your research. There's one case that I think I have heard the story, probably you have as well, that is the owners of Diana. You know, Diana company that now sells lots of snacks, lots of chips all over Central America, if I'm not mistaken. And they started just selling, you know, like popcorn out of their houses. So there was this family that was selling just popcorn out of their houses and then they start, you know, growing as a company. Mm -hmm. That's another one. Yeah. And most of, you know, that's something also very interesting probably that all these families are not really original from El Salvador. It's another curious fact, right? Okay. Someone would like to give another example or explain it a little bit, at least what you know about them. Which is someone? How about Fernando? About famous entrepreneurs? Yeah, in our country. Uh, to be honest, to me, like being a famous entrepreneur is very difficult. I don't got in mind anyone. Maybe it's in my family, but I don't consider it my family like a, like entrepreneurs because they are very born with money. So it's unfair to other one that start their business with nothing. Mm, yeah, probably the 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 late generations, right? Probably the the. Mm. The beginning ones, the, the first ones, right, really, they mm -hmm. started uh -huh, with a small business. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Like famous, famous. I'm trying to think like a restaurant or someone. But... Mm -hmm. That has grown. Like a pupusteria, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. It's hard to think of someone right now, right, in a specific. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> This is a good one because this one anyone can answer. Like, have you ever thought of starting your own business? And we sure yesterday, like most of us have, right? Most of us have thought of starting our own business and risking, you know, savings probably or getting loans from banks or investing something we already have in order to start our own business, right? Mm -hmm. Anyone would like to share experiences?
in your groups. You can nominate also in your groups. We'll get a good example for this one. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. No one. So I choose. <laughs> Magdiel, is that one? Hello, hey. which, uh, which question? If you ever question? thought of starting your own business. Um, yes, when I finish uh, the technician, um, I don't know, it's called a, uh, a technical mm -hmm. technician. That's an Asian degree. I thought in started my own business like um um how do you say taller garage um garage automotive mm -hmm. um, as a repairing repairing cars and other things but and this moment I, I I I got I I got um other job and I I forgot I That's forgot about your idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Well keep it there, keep it there. Probably um yeah, sometimes you will get some allies, okay, to work with and you're gonna start your own business. Yeah, yeah that's a good one actually. All right. Is it possible for anyone to become an entrepreneur? For anyone? Any opinion? I think, uh, yes, teacher. It's possible to anyone, for anyone to become an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. You know, well, for uh, example, this in, in this month, September, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that go to the Mr. Donut place to buy maybe 30 or 50 boxes of donuts and start to selling mm -hmm. you know and that that's that's one example to make the money base mm -hmm. in order to start a, a another entrepreneurship i mean right yeah they have this very cool idea right of making the line of course yeah you have to invest some time definitely you have to make some investment right in money as well and then dedicating if that is yeah the basis of your entrepreneurship of course all right do entrepreneurs face barriers in our country so <laughs> how come no it's yeah i think this is a very obvious answer because we all face barriers right we all face obstacles and difficulties and entrepreneurs are not the exceptions right because there are many many obstacles i i remember in one of the groups yeah you were discussing very very um deeply this question because of the barriers and the obstacles that entrepreneurs face does anybody remember what was that? Mm -hmm. Anyone? What do you think are the biggest difficulties yeah i heard you were about saying the, uh -huh. about the face barrier right i think the the most of the entrepreneur when is starting the, your own business all have uh, barriers or difficult to start but it depend of the your your your, your, I don't know. Determination. Yeah, a determination to to increase, increase, and, and 
to keep Doing going, business. to keep working on the on the on the business, right? Yeah. All right. Yes, there are so many to set the market to get customers, right, Roberto? So. Uh, yes, I I think uh, this show that uh, a face barrier can be the competitiveness because, uh, for example, uh, we are a, a small country with a large population, right? And um, if you put a restaurant today, tomorrow other people put <laughs> three restaurant clothes, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I think that you have a lot of competi competition in the in the business in in all the areas is is from so it, it's difficult right it is difficult it is hard yeah definitely we face lots of barriers that's why i think many people get discouraged and and they just have the business ideas but they never start right because they see like uh there are so many obstacles so many things against right all right characteristics Characteristics of good entrepreneurs. Determination, you also mentioned that one. Hardworking. Hardworking. I uh, leadership. Leadership. The, uh, to, to take decisions Resilient. and, re and yeah. re resilient, resilient to overcome obstacles. Definitely, right. Mm -hmm. determination resilience leadership good management skills as well because you have to be good at managing your time your money your finances in general because otherwise you start making profit and then you start wasting your money and then the business goes bankrupt <laughs> yeah i've seen some families that really the mom or the father is there let's say getting some profits out of a business or out of a small business, but then the the kids, let's say, start maybe not that little kids, but let's say teenagers or young adults, but they are the children of this family. They start, you know, like buying very expensive things for themselves and they start just taking money, not really putting money into the business. It's just that, you know, like withdrawing money from the business. They start getting very high tech devices, very expensive cars, and then really they are not really helping much the business. They are just taking out of the business. And then the parents see that instead of seeing the business grow, they say, like, no, the business is not doing well because we are running into debts because we are not having enough profits and so on and so forth. All right. And the last one. Why do many businesses go bankrupt in the first few years? This is something related to the barriers, right? Because of the difficulties faced. Uh-huh. Any expert? Any opinion? Probably a bad, a bad organization of the the, the financials mm -hmm. bad decisions in finances yes definitely could be their their Adam and good good manager mm -hmm. they don't manage things well yes they don't make right decision okay all right very good Thank you. Thank you for such a wonderful participation. I I do appreciate that. Yeah, I see you're all involved in learning and practicing, and that's really awesome. Good reactions for everyone. Okay, participating, keep practicing. That's also nice. All right, give me just one second. Just want to just highlight this. All right. That we started yesterday and as a reminder that you may find your manual this booklet from the platform get it download it have it visible have it accessible so that you can be practicing the vocabulary related 
to the exercises that you're going to be working on the platform. Of course, if you study, if you participate, if you are on the lesson, on the online uh, session, definitely you will feel familiar at the time that you have to answer the exercises because you have already reviewed the vocabulary, the structures, and so on. Okay, so we started on this yesterday. We we'll discussed about this, about the channel distribution, of the, and we up, yeah, we got up to this part. So today we're gonna get started with this new lesson, and on this lesson, it says that you'll be able to decide almost appropriate distribution channel for a product based on the information from a metrics analysis. And so. Which product needs a faster distribution speed and what, and what distribution method is your competition using? So I'm going to be sharing this screen with this conversation and you're going to be analyzing, okay? Read and analyze these questions, okay? You say, oh, some products need a faster distribution, some products need a more efficient method of distribution, okay? So think about this, right? So which product need a faster distribution speed? I know there are some products that you cannot keep them for a long time. You know, there are some things that are just perishable. And this happens, you know, very obvious probably at markets because vegetable fruits and stuff like that chicken, meat, right? There are some people that produce this sort of good, this sort of products, right? And they definitely need to be very smart, very, very clever at the time they look for a distribution method. So think about this, try to look at the conversation and I'm gonna be right back in a minute and then we're going to be discussing about this. But try to think about your possible answers, all right? Got it? All right.
All right, I'm back. Anyone? Did you think about the answer for this question? Mm -hmm. Um, I think that how do you say uh, perishables? The, the perishable perishable foods that mm -hmm. needs uh, special conditions of refrigeration or uh, specific temperatures. Those definitely need a faster distribution span. Yes, that's right. Uh huh. What well, distribution method is your competition using? It would be nice <laughs> that we have a competition in business. <laughs> All right. Truly, they are talking about the competition of a company that we might work for. But if that's not the case, don't worry. Never mind. It's right. So we have the conversation between Ed and Philip who are discussing the sales in their ice cream, of their ice cream, actually. Ice cream should be, must be a very difficult product <laughs> to distribute, right? Uh, I think I've seen this kind of freezer containers or trucks that transport or distribute ice cream. And they definitely have to work also with the retails and giving them I don't know if they provide the freezers as well, but that must be really hard to handle. So we're gonna practice this conversation. It says the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. That's great. So they started producing ice cream, and now they are having lots of demand. So lots of people are buying. Lots of customers are getting their products, right? And now they want to start a store. <laughs> so they want to set, okay? So they definitely need to get some advice, right? They need to get some um recommendation on how to run their own store. So we don't know anything about running our own store. This as the manager at the ice cream shop downtown, certainly he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Well, I don't know if they're just thinking about opening their own store or they want to sell. All right, so I'm gonna give you some time for you to practice this conversation, but at the same time, okay, you practice and you answer these questions related to the conversation, right? So which channel of distribution is Phil suggesting? Do Ed and Philip know how to run a store? And they think Philip's suggestion will help the business grow. This is something you'll definitely discuss with another group of partners. Let me just do this again. All right. We are all set, ready, and go.
the biz the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah. The booth is always packaged with people. We have to send our online screen shop. We don't know anything about running or our our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Good. I don't know if Rona will will take yes. the conversation. Yes, I would be Ed and. It can be silly again. Oh, okay. Uh, the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own, own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay, now vice versa. Uh, you are Ed and I am Philip. Okay. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the boot is always packed with people. We have to set our own, our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Nice. Now we can answer the question. What channel of distribution is Philly suggesting? I think the channel of distribution is open a store, their own store. Ah, the ad is true. No, uh Erase, erase, erase that E and type an S. Ah, yes, yes, depends. Yeah, it depends. In the down, downtown, no, 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 don't erase it. Downtown, you're missing an, a letter N after the first O, downtown. Mm, that's true, thank you, downtown. Okay, it's if the downtown ice cream store is near, maybe, yes. Hmm? Yeah, mm -hmm. but there's a word in the in the conversation. Can you scroll up? Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, the booth. What? Uh, I don't know what's the meaning of booth. It's like a small, I small store. It's like. No, it's like uh, when you see people uh, selling ice cream in the in the kiosk. No, it's like kiosk. Yeah, kiosk. Um, like small, um, wow. Very, very small. In like a, a small, small uh, store, right? Yeah. I think. You're right. Uh, el puesto. Mm -hmm. Mm. A boot. Oh, okay. Yeah. That that that's a new new word for me. Boot. Side. <laughs> mm. Okay. So, you want, we can we can discuss the 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 questions. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, well, in this case, the channel it's um, a retail, right? Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah. No, the, the the answer is 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 nice. I don't know what what else can be. Um, mm -hmm. with that, uh, I'm not sure because. Uh, they are um i think that the the best it could be that uh, um that they ask uh, a consult uh, a consultant for example but i, I don't understand the last sentence that uh, they say 
the he will want to buy our incredible ice cream because I think that they are if they want to if they want to sell their product in the in their our in their own store I think that uh, um, the the best support or it would be more helpful if they ask uh, an expert to how manage uh, a store. Yeah, putting it that way, uh, I agree with you, but also I see like a new way to sell. But uh, I don't know, put that like that to point of view. It so, can be yes and no and explain uh -huh. why. <laughs> it, it will be yes, uh, so um, yes or maybe, I think, because it, yes, because they are attracting new clients, because they are they are attracting a, a, a partner. But yeah. if they want to, if they want to learn how to, how running a store, an own store, I think that uh, they could help. They they could ask help for a consultant or an expert. Yes, I I agree with you. It's okay. Or... If they uh, only sell the ice cream to the to the ice cream shop, uh, they don't have to to sell them themselves. They they have more time, for example, to make more ice cream or or to do a, another activity. And also, they and also, don't... I think it depends from the weather. You know, the people. I think the people buy more ice cream in summer. But you know, mm. I don't know people that like to buy ice cream in winter or when it, the weather is uh, raining a lot. Yes. Now in a Sabado, it's a great option. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, in Sabado, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think that there's a lot of, well, the, the minuteros, they are not uh, taking advantage about it because here in my home, well, well, uh, you know, all the country is very warm, but there's not enough uh, minuteros or people selling ice cream in neighborhoods or in downtown. Yes, yes. That's really... I think that that would be a good entrepreneurship. <laughs> yes, a small entrepreneurship. Okay, yeah. Yes. You know, well, the, the example that I was saying before, the the people who sells uh, donuts from the Mr. Donut. What about people selling uh, ice cream, cheaper ice cream from a quarter or two quarters? Carreton yeah. ice cream. Carreton ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, because I the, the idea that you can put a uh, a boot right uh, a, a boot small business that is it can be uh, como se, se dice movilizar movilizar a otro lado so right it helps a lot because you can you can you can buy near of your house. Or you work, it's a good, it's a good option. It's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good option. So you guys are new in this.
All right. Very, very good. Let me just keep sharing the screen. We're just practicing the conversation. All right, here, according to your book. Yes, this was the first exercise we got on this lesson, which is the discussion. Let's get started and then the conversation. All right. May I have a couple of volunteers to do the conversation once again? All I'm right. It's all right. Someone else? I can be Philip. All right. Very nice. Ready? Yes, <laughs> Ready. Go. I'm going to start. All right. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Yeah, the pool is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We didn't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Uh -huh. There was this discussion at the end in a couple of, of participants. That why not asking just an expert, right? A consultant on how to run a store. But why do you think... They say this at the end. This is the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. So this person already has an ice cream shop or manages this ice cream shop. And he, they think that he will buy, they will certainly want to buy their ice cream. So they are thinking about selling or distributing or I, starting I, their own store. I got a question. Mm -hmm. How Ed and Philip sell their ice cream? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? How Ed and Philip sell their ice cream? As I mentioned before, at the booth, it's always packed. So they probably have this a small store in a shopping mall near a bigger business near or inside probably like at the main entrance of a supermarket for example or uh -huh. Uh -huh, because of the booth right it's like mm -hmm. they usually call this a small stands booth uh -huh, the booth is like a stand mm -hmm. so probably they want to but that's my question if they want to start their own store and run their own store or they want to sell their ice cream to an owner of another store. That's kind of fishy. <laughs> so we will have to discover that. <laughs> okay. And you already discussed those questions for sure, right? So what channel of distribution is Phil suggesting? Mm -hmm. That's at the end, right? Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Running their own store. All right. So Phil, you think Phil is suggesting to run their own store or selling like retail? But first, with the another shop of ice cream. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, yeah, the booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. So he suggests first to have the direct right channel. So they want to distribute their own ice cream to the consumers or the customers, right? But then... He also suggests the other option, right? Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. So probably he's suggesting both, right? Both channels. 
And do any of you know how to run a store? <laughs> they definitely. Don't know. Don't know. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They don't know anything about running their own store. And the last one. Do you think Philip's suggestion will help the business grow? Kind of risky to say, right? Probably. That is the idea at first when they want to set their own store, yeah? But who knows? Who knows if they might be lucky, they might be in a good market, so they might have lots of um, customers already. There might be a lot of people who want to buy their ice cream, so if they set their own store and then they have um better establishment people get to the place and consume their ice cream at the at the start i think they might have good luck and grow in the business all right is there any question related to this yes no any other comments everything all right sure yes Okay, good. Yeah, I was also listening to some of you expressing that El Salvador is a good market for selling ice cream because of the weather, because of the temperatures, usually in, well, not necessarily in summer, but most of the, yeah, most of the time, most of the year, people might want to get some ice cream in case this is the business, right? <laughs> All right. And in certain parts of the country, the weather is even hot, even hotter than San Salvador, uh, than other regions in the country. All right, what about coffee? Do you think coffee is a good business? Mm -hmm. Coffee or ice cream? Which is a better business? I think coffee. Why? Because most most of the people want coffee instead of ice cream. <laughs> and most of the time, right? No yes. matter if it is the morning, the afternoon, night, they all want coffee, different type of coffee. The, I have seen that in recent years, many people said their business uh, and they start with a cafe and they start selling different type of coffee, different, um, let's say, I don't know if that's the the right word, uh, like the formats, okay? So they start selling frappes, frappuccino, cappuccino, and all those type of coffee, right? Not just the traditional coffee as we are used to. And definitely people go, probably, it's not that common, but people are getting to the custom of, you know, like, drive throughs or just to go coffee especially mornings or afternoons when people get to get some energy boosters or energize instead of you know drinking some probably not very healthy drinks even though coffee is not healthy for everybody you know <laughs> It turns to be kind of uh, an addiction for some people that buy coffee at all times. And yeah, it's a business that has grown here in our country, especially in the cities, I guess. Because there are many cafes, may, many coffee stations as well, a different um, old coffee stands at different points, you know, like shopping malls, right? Supermarkets and different businesses have this coffee stands as well. All right, or this theme cafe with good environment, with um, decoration, with original styles and so on and so forth. All right, I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes probably 
oh, the same people will work together because there are so many people that are just listeners on this session. About 60-70% of the class don't join the groups of discussions. But the ones that are able to do it, take advantage of it, uh, maximize your potential, your vocabulary, fluency, and so on. And it's great. So I will request you to think about a business. Okay, think about a business and think about a way of persuading customers to get your product. Okay, think about ice cream, coffee, uh, snacks. Think about typical food. Think about, I don't know why, but people, South Korean will always think about food, right? When we think about starting our own business, but think about other things, shoes, purses, necklaces, anything, right? Think about any product and why we should buy this product, okay? Why you think it's a good idea that you start your business with that product, okay? So I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes for you to discuss, for you to persuade your partners first in the group to buy your product. And then we're gonna have a couple of examples here in the general session, all right? you do to pursue that that goal to run that uh, to run that that business okay well um in my case i would like to run um, um <laughs> i would like to to sell uh french uh French fries, but not as the usual French fries. And you know, I want to sell that twisted French fries. I don't know if you already oh. know about it. Yes, I have yes, seen. Yes. I haven't eaten, and uh, I haven't eaten uh, some. Yeah, I think uh, there's. It's a. Uh, I I I like the 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 way well. The twist way on the French fry, and I think uh, it will be a good entrepreneurship to to start entrepreneurship.
I don't know who wants to start selling the product. So um, I didn't take the, the instructions. Uh, I don't know if there is screenshot with the structure that we that we should follow to mm, to sell no. the product. No, it's just like uh, you have to convince mm -hmm. why 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 we should buy your product. I mean, if I told you that I I sell like bag of mm -hmm. bag of green tea for sales, why buy me? Because it's healthy, because it has positive effects for your body, things like that. Mm -hmm. Like if you mm -hmm. are selling something. Whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can I can sell you uh, right now. I am selling you the next um, the new the latest or the most advanced cell phone, for example, the the iPhone 15, that it has the the best. Um, the best camera in the market it has the best the best zoom of any cell phone that uh, of any cell phone that you will that you will see um well, what else it has uh, it has now the 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 new iphone has a uh, has a an a new universal port to charge to charge it and uh, it has um the duration of the battery is better so uh, because sometimes uh, people that I use iPhone uh, are claiming that uh, the the battery the the duration of the battery is very is very low but now it, it has a, a better battery that I can that, uh, that I have a, a, a longer duration and what else um, Additional to the camera, uh, to a better capacity, and there is one, and this is um, and is in different colors, and it is in the color that you prefer to to take it. How much does it cost? It costs um, in order to price it costs because this the the introduction cost it is uh, it has a cost of one one thousand to one thousand two hundred and you will and you will receive uh, uh an apple watch wow that is really really expensive but the but this is the introduction is the introduction price if you uh, that, that it will be in the first in the first week uh, so if you uh, if you look for the for the iPhone 15 in other stores and after this week you will you will have to pay um one one thousand four hundred to um two hundred more and I'm giving you the the Apple Watch. So for one for one thousand two hundred, you are, a, I'm selling you the the iPhone fifteen. That is the latest the latest model, the most advanced, uh, additional with the uh, accompanied by 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 the Apple Watch. With the Apple Watch, with the Apple Watch, you can business take my money. Sure, sure. Can I pay yeah. with with credit? Card? We have a deal. Yes, uh, of course, with um, with the credit cards, with uh, PayPal. So, but I think what will what should be the price for that dish? Mm, I think that something will be like more expensive because the. That I don't have like they don't produce those things here. Yeah. So I have I have I will have to to import them. So that will be expensive. But some yeah. other dishes will be more like more more easy. More it will be easier for me to do substitute with a local product and maybe the, the some dishes like. Uh, maybe, maybe 
the direct directly uh, ah, yeah, the direct. Direct channel direct channel yes yes also uh, in, in, there's a dish like uh well you know here the churritos españoles but in peru there's a like a churrito 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 but it's filled with um like el atado, el atado de leche de atado, I think, or it's it's kind of <clears throat> kind of the Nutella thing, um, but I forgot the name. And no, they're very tasty. I very delicious. It's kind of of Nutella of chocolate. Yeah, it's like a, a Lucia, no. Uh, something like that. Okay. So, what about you? What would you be your entrepreneur, entrepreneurship? Uh, yeah. In my case, uh, I would like to to have you know a, a little a restaurant, a little restaurant. For example, actually, in my in my in my family. We have a, a small, uh, it's, a, it's a small business, right? But, but it's a, like a dining room, right? Of, no. of typical food. Uh, so obviously the idea is to escalate a lot, right? To, to uh, convert, you no. Know, transform. Okay, transform or, or become to become. Uh, a, a restaurant, right? For example, it's a uh, of typical food, Mexican food uh, as well. Mm -hmm. I think that is a, a good idea. No? In my case, I, I would like to uh, a, a cake shop, right? Because I I, I like the of oh, that that cake, for example, tiramisu, uh, cheesecake. Three uh, mm. I don't know how it's uh, <laughs> three meals. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I think that is uh, a kind of interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. Can be okay. That's good. So you also use the direct channel too. Yes, yes, we have direct channel, direct channel. We we only produce uh, everything that we we sell it as well, right? It's, oh, mm -hmm. because, but it's difficult, right? Uh, uh, despite it's a it's a small business, it's, it's a it's kind of uh, difficult. But yes, it's we have the right channel. So. It takes a lot of time. Sorry. That's good. What? Yes, yes, yeah. that's good. Right? Oh, okay, that's good. So I was, <laughs> I um, uh, let me check something. It's another ex exercise. Um, you.
All right. We got Fernando, Maguire, Saúl, Ronald, Alexander. Then we got Emerson, Roberto, and Wendy. These were the people that were just participating in the discussion. The rest of people were just there. So in the same order, I would like to hear from your products and the reasons why you would like to sell that product, okay? We get started with Fernando, right? Mm, okay, I try to sell a PS5 to my partner because first I like videoing. So I, would, I try to sell something that I like and I tell them that the PS5 is the is the latest console video games in the market. It's better than Xbox and Nintendo Switch. And the price now is lower than the console came up to the market. So right now maybe around two hundred bucks of save to get the console and the video games that the console offer are very different. I mean, it can be about the sport, action, adventure, whatever you want, basically. And you will have fun about five hours and you mm, didn't notice the time that you are playing. So that's some of the reason that I tell them. Did they get to buy it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice, you have a deal now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. Okay. Magdiel, Saul? I tried to uh, sell a car. Partners. I have, to, I have a car. Um, it's 2020. And her price, it, its price is twelve thousand dollars, and his description is 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 the color is white, is it has a full extra, it has a LED light, automatic transmission, electric mirror, sunroof. Um, air conditioner, nice, and never broken. Very good thing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Did they get to buy it? Uh, no, I, I, I can't complete. Oh, you couldn't <laughs> complete your sale. <laughs> oh, okay. What brand is it? It's Toyota Corolla. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Okay, nice. Oh, for real, you're selling it? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, <that's> example. <laughs> it was just an example. All right. <laughs> I was interested already. <laughs> okay. And I'm just kidding. I don't have the money. <laughs> All right. And I don't, and uh, yeah, I don't feel like running into debts just to buy a car. <laughs> All right, Ronald. Uh, I try. Uh, I offer them uh, to my partners the the new the new iPhone that is the most advanced uh, cell phone in the market right now, and it has a um it, it has a, an improvement. For example, the battery it it has a better a better a, a better battery. Uh, just uh, that the the duration of the battery that is one of the main complaints of the of the users by iPhone and that now is um is a universal is the same type of connection to church so uh, i think now uh, an an user of android and uh, iphone can share the, okay. the 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 chargers so it it, it would be easier to the, to have a, to have an iPhone, and um, additional to all the 
to all the main specifications that it has an amazing camera, it has a, an amazing resolution, and is and is a and is a faster cell phone. And I was offering a big big deal that is uh, for the introduction for this week that is the introduction price. Uh, I'm selling for um, one thousand two hundred, and not only that, uh, it is the if they if they bought it. I will, I will give it. I will give them the the uh, an Apple Watch, and they can they can pay with credit card and have facilities of payment with uh, with payments with no interest. Wow! Did you get clients? Yes. <laughs> Many people interested. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I I I see that. That's a great upgrade and great improvement. All right. And the other group we have Emerson. Okay. Um in my case, I would like to run a, a boot from a French fries, but twisted French fries. But also I will sell the the classic French fries and some kind of drinks. In case people are just that traditional and want to have the, the, the traditional ones, right? Mm -hmm. The Twister French fries. Yeah, uh, I think uh, it's uh, innovating. Uh, there's not... Uh, as a uh, snack, I, I just to get know. a drink and, and the French fries. Yeah. Another booth would be... I think something similar started with these people that had this sort of business. I don't know if they are still in the in the shopping malls of the or they went bankrupt. That they, they were called the lote. So they started selling this set of products made from corn. Uh yeah, but I think uh, I don't know if they still running but they disappear. They, they oh really? No, because I'm asking. Because I, <laughs> I haven't <laughs> seen them and, I mean I haven't seen them lately. I I, I only know one in uh, Metro Centro Mall. Mm. But I don't know. I don't know if he's still running. All right. The one I saw was in Galerias, I guess. But I don't know if they are still also uh -huh, running businesses. Yeah, but uh, but I will I I will uh do a do a tiny shop, but in maybe in downtown or in the in the neighborhood. All right. Nice. That sounds good. Let us know so we can go and get the 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 Twister French fries. <laughs> oh, sure. All right, Roberto. So, uh, yes, sure. Uh, I'm gonna try to to sell offer uh, the smartwatch. Yes, I don't know if you are uh, hear about the, the new smart smartwatch or, for example, Samsung, the Watch Six, right? They have is. I just the, got one from Huawei, but I thought Samsung didn't have. Ah, okay, but it's similar. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's similar. It's similar, but this uh, this smartwatch uh, provide a uh, new solutions. For example, uh, most commonly all the smart smartwatch of the uh, a year ago how, uh, for example, how uh, a measure, for example. Uh, the hair rate, you can measure your hair rate. Uh, it can, you can uh, count in your two passes, for, for example. Your steps. Your steps, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, it can help, for example, when you are uh, work, work out in the gym, I don't know. It can be a, a lot of helpful because it can control uh, a lot of things of your body. Right, uh, you can connect for your cell phone. Uh, most commonly, Samsung, right? But it is compatible with uh, all the Android uh, cell phones as well, right? And mm. that's good. <laughs> that's it. Great, good, 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 good description actually. And what did? Hello, I well, I I would like to sell Peruvian food because there is like no too much competition, and so um, 
I like the, the thing that I, that I would like to touch. And for that, I will, uh, to, I will offer um, food that I can have like substitute, uh, local substitute, because uh, there are things that I, I will have to import them so that uh, that may be expensive. Yeah, so mm -hmm. search for certain dishes that that can be prepared with the ingredients that we have here in El Salvador, like um, papa guancaina, oh. maybe uh, anticuchos, that is a meal with uh, the heart of cow, um, or even making like a partnership with a small uh, farmers to grow some ingredients here in El Salvador, like uh, purple, a purple corn. Potato? Oh, yeah. The big one, the choclo. The choclo um, mm -hmm. for, make, for, for making um, chicha morada. Mm -hmm. Cheaper chicha morada. Or that there are some peppers that are like iconic in the Peruvian gastronomy, but here we don't have that. And they are very expensive to export. And Important. the little animals, the guinea pigs. Oh, the, the kush. <laughs> <laughs> Would you include them? <laughs> no. <I'm... laughs> yeah, I, I, even on videos, they look really, really yeah, different have... from, from our gastronomy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Really. Well, that, like that one substitute bit. chicken. It would still be with chicken. <laughs> 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 All right. That sounds interesting. Yeah, only once in my whole life I visited a Peruvian restaurant, but I think it doesn't exist anymore. It used to be in La Gran Vía. Mm. But then they, nothing else. Uh, they they open and they then close. Mm. I think that is because they, their prices are very high, so yeah. not everybody can do that. Uh -huh, access to the ingredients. Otherwise, importing must be really, really expensive. All right. Awesome. Congratulations to all the participation. I'm very glad you were able to discuss, present your, your examples, your arguments, and your descriptions in very convincing. Okay, at the time you, you try to make business. All right, let's have the attendance one last time. Uh, Abigail Elizabeth, not here. Atilio, yeah, did, you get, did you get home? Yes, yes. Oh, good. <laughs> Elizabeth Stephanie is still working, but present teacher. All right, Emerson, here teacher. Fernando, present. Francisco, Hazel, Juan Antonio. Julissa, Carla, Luis, Luis Miguel, hi, Luis Javier, Luis Miguel, none of them, Miguel, present, Manuel, Marilyn, present, Mario, Roberto, present, Ronald, present, Victor, present, Fidel. Present. Well, did. well Present. in theory, we should be with Abigail Elizabeth or Elizabeth Stephanie, but I know Abigail is not here and Stephanie is still working on the payroll. Um, <laughs> but now I am available. Oh, great. That's awesome. Good news then. Okay. So we stay with Stephanie. And the rest, thank you very much for attending. Thank you very much for your participation. I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night and rest. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Night. Night.
All right, Stephanie. What happened? Why you have to work late tonight? Um. Okay. That's that is my schedule. The schedule. Yes. Um. Tuesday and Friday, I. ¿Cómo se dice? Entro a trabajar. I start working. Ah, okay. I start working at 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> But it's in my, in my house, so. <laughs> ah. Interesting. And what do you do? Give support. Mm -hmm. to the stores with the system. Okay. And do they require a lot of support? Sorry? Do they require a lot of support? Yes. Really? I have chats and calls too. So you're still <laughs> working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You are well, still in your working hours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Interesting. So you usually do home office? Um Tuesday and Monday. The rest of the days I go to the office. And on Friday you leave at 10 p.m. from the office? Oh no, at nine. At nine. I go out one hour before. before. And you have yeah. transportation. Uh I I I stay in my house because it's um in la noche at, at night. night. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So when you go to the office, you go during the day. Yes, at seven to five p.m. Mm -hmm. From seven to five. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. interesting. All right, Stephanie. Is there anything you will need help with, or anything you would like to talk about? Anything you would like to express? Um. Well. I would like to learn more about vocabulary and I really want to improve my listening. Um, sometimes I don't understand what are uh, on the movie saying or videos. I always uh, notice that I can understand native speakers. I can understand when some people that are learning or speak Spanish but no speak English I can understand them very well but na but native speakers is so difficult for me yeah because definitely they use lots of new expressions lots of yeah. new words or words that depend a lot from the context that they are using it right So that yeah. it's something you have to pay lots of attention and get familiar with that. Yeah, but watching movies is a great strategy. You can apply. I mean, yeah. with the movies, you can pause the movies, you can read, you can watch, you can even find the words from the subtitles. So probably you have to watch the same movie a couple of times, only with the audios and then with the subtitles and then looking for the meaning of the words that you don't know to see what the general meaning of the phrase or the expression or the sentence is and then watching the movie again without the subtitles and trying to understand at once so oh, okay. you can do that yes mm -hmm. i with series as well strategy. <laughs> uh -huh. with the series as well because now on the internet you can pause it right yes But yeah, before right. <laughs> you have to only watch it once and then probably they will never play it again. So now it's a lot easier. And you can have, I mean, access to any other device to, to look for meanings, to take notes. So basically you're not watching the movie for the fun of watching the movie. You're watching the movie for learning, for, for studying, learning, for yes. practicing. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. That is a good advice. Thank you. Yeah, anytime. So you practice English at other times, like at work, with friends? Yes, at work. But it's like most uh, chat on chat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think I And it's related have... to work. Related to work. What it means that? I mean, you practice English related to work. That means that you are giving support and assistance on the chat and you are yes. just using this type of language. 
yes kind it, of technical yes mm. it's mm, rare that i had to uh the conversation or anything call. else yes um, or in a call uh -huh. it's rare but if i if i had to do it i do it <laughs> and it is difficult because uh they are from islands and they speak so different <laughs> it's kind of difficult difficult but i understand difficult. the idea and but I you have them. i mean you have the challenge of communicating probably you can request for the speakers to be patient to be slow when they talk or when they explain when they describe the situations to you so that you can understand right that's not a problem i mean people usually understand that you're not a native and that you're just making an effort trying to understand what they are saying so that's okay yeah yes yeah. sometimes i feel that that they really notice and they uh, start to speak slowly <laughs> and I appreciate it. Yeah, because they want, I mean, they really need uh, the support. So they want yeah. you to understand clearly what they are saying. <laughs> yeah. But that's great. That, that's also showing empathy because when somebody else is just learning, we want the person to make progress. We don't want to frustrate the other person. So that's that's great. And, and especially... Uh, Europeans, most people are really understanding. So they're really understanding of the situation of other people. So they don't, I mean, they don't go like rushing in the conversation or they just uh, say, oh, no, you don't understand. Or any, they're yeah. not rude at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they are just, not rude. No. Uh -huh. That's really mm -hmm. nice. That's really cool because you're having the experience of using the language for yeah. great purposes <laughs> yeah and that is a, one of the reason i started this course, this course. all right yeah. this is the first time yes no um the second one i start with the module three oh. mm -hmm. nice that's cool so congratulations you have made great progress so far Okay, thank you so much. All right, <laughs> hope to see you in class tomorrow. Oh, hope to see you in class tomorrow too. All right. <laughs> nice, have a wonderful night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Ciao. Bye.